Beginning today, Oahu residents 50 and older will be able to get a COVID vaccine, while on the neighbor islands, 16 and up are already eligible. But despite that, the supply is starting to exceed demand and has officials worried. Maui District Health Officer Dr. Lauren Pang says he's noticing it on the Valley Isle. Because of the rapid spread of variants, he's encouraging Maui residents to get the vaccine after seeing about 400 open appointments just two days after offering the vaccine to those 16 and older. So already we are seeing what they call vaccine hesitancy. If we can get 70%, then the epidemic kind of dies out. It's like no fuel for the fire. It spreads, but it hits immune people and it just peters out. But there's this gap in the next few months where we cannot possibly get near 70%. And I'm asking for 85% or higher because of the variants. The variants are knocking at the door. About 20% of Hawaii and Oahu residents have received two doses of the vaccine. Kauai leads the way with 30% of residents who are fully vaccinated, and Maui is at 18%. According to Johns Hopkins' website, Hawaii ranks 13th when it comes to percentage of population fully vaccinated. Fully vaccinated travelers are one step closer to being able to skip quarantine. Governor Ige gave the green light on Friday for a vaccine exemption program that could roll out as early as May. All it needs is approval from Haima Director General Kenneth Hara. And joining us this morning with more is the Lieutenant Governor and the state's COVID-19 liaison, Dr. Josh Green. Good morning, Lieutenant Governor. How are you doing this morning? Doing great. Good morning. Now, first off, Governor Ige says he's on board with a vaccine exemption program pending approval from General Hara. Have you been working with General Hara on this? And where do we stand now? Yes, nonstop with General Hara. He's a terrific leader. He and his Hyema team and I and my team are putting all of the pieces together. So where it stands is we expect to have a program to give to the governor so he can approve it in its final form in the next day or two. The idea is to have a card, our card, the CDC card, which you would upload into your safe travels uh, program that we have been using and you bring your card with you. Meanwhile, behind the scenes, First Vitals and some of our other partners like Clear and Common Pass will be able to do a lot of verification of those records. But we will still want people to bring their cards so we can also verify them manually when they get here. That, that process where people have proven they're vaccinated will then allow them to bypass the quarantine. And we expect very minimal fraud because there will be heavy penalties if people do uh, break, break the rules or fake a card. Now, what are the biggest hurdles right now? And what kind of timeline do you see after you give the governor the proposal in a day or so? Would it be like inner island first? Inner island first, that's what we expect. And our goal, our internal goal is to get that going by May 1st. So therefore, any of our residents who have been vaccinated, they would be able to use this process and travel freely in between the islands without any need for testing or quarantine. And so we don't discriminate against anyone. I mean, this is an optional program. People would otherwise still be able to use the safe travels pre-test just like they've been, getting a test within 72 hours uh, to travel if they just aren't in favor of being vaccinated. After we've seen that work, then we move to travel from the mainland with the same process. All right, we'll definitely be keeping an eye on that as well. All right, now we're starting to see it on Maui and in some other states, vaccine hesitancy. First off, what is it and will we see it here? Well, vaccine hesitancy is just that people are a little bit undecided about getting the vaccine and so they're waiting and watching. But as you can see, a lot of shots have, have actually taken place. We will pass the 1 million shot mark this week sometime, probably Thursday or Friday, which is extraordinary for us. That will be more than halfway there for what we're ultimately going to deliver in our state. But the first half of the people were the most eager. And then I think we'll see a lot of uh, eager people getting in line for the vaccine, including Jamie, my wife, she's going to go, I think she wants to go on the 20th after we open wide. Uh, we're going to see again a surge as we go to age 50 today and everyone is open next Monday, but then it usually drops off because you get into a group of people that are a little bit more on the fence. The best bet I could say is we will get between 75 and 80 percent of the whole state vaccinated and I think that will be sufficient to give us herd immunity, especially when we add adolescents later. But some people are reluctant, and I just want to be open about it. We respect people who make either choice, but I strongly recommend people getting the vaccine because it helps all of society. 
What type of solutions do you expect maybe like, because I've seen some other states where people are going door to door to try and promote the vaccine shot. It may very well require that. There are other incentives. It's not meant to be a specific incentive, but when there are benefits to being vaccinated, like it's easier to go out, it's easier to travel. I think that will also encourage some people. It's not meant to be like that. It's just, it's a, just a reality. If it makes your life a little bit easier, if your office is more open to having people back at work in a normal setting because everyone's vaccinated, it encourages people to do it. And then yes, you'll see lots of PSAs and you guys have been wonderful. Others have spoken up on behalf of being vaccinated. Leading by example is important. Gov got vaccinated. I certainly got vaccinated as a doctor. It is safe, but you know, not everyone believes in it and that, that's their prerogative. Over time, you will see us get to an adequate herd immunity. And overall, I've been very happy. As you mentioned, uh, Johns Hopkins showed that we were, I think, 13th. Uh, another study showed that we were 10th in the country getting it efficiently done. It just has not resulted in any bad side effects or fatalities, knock wood. So I think we should all get vaccinated. All right, there you have it, the Lieutenant Governor.